This is the Toolbox Story. Hello everybody. My name is Abdul Malik Bilal and today I will explain a brief history of the movie Camilla. When we recall at the past years, at the past time, we understand, we all understand that at the past years they were normal cameras, but they were only photography cameras. But now, who invested the first movie camera? Louis Le Prince built a single lens camera in 1888 used it to make a brief short silence movie of people walking in the garden this was the first movie camera and it was a huge discovery the oldest movie in existence is from the garden scene this is a proof that the prince should be credited as the first person investing. Why do we not credit Mr. Louis the prince? This is just a question that many people need to be answered. But the reason is that just before patenting his device and talking on a tour in America, in September 1890, the prince vanished from the face of the earth. His wife was sure that he was murdered. In 2008, a magazine claimed that the evidence that emerged showing Edison has arranged the prince's assassination. This was reported by the BBC magazine, The Science Focus. So, who invented the first movie camera? This is another tricky question because according to the history, historically, we all know that Le Prince is the first person who invented on the first movie camera. But now we have to answer this question. Mr. William Kennedy Dixon invented the movie camera he was a Scottish inventor who deceased an early motion picture camera under the employment of Thomas Edison. Mr. Edison wound up taking credit for the inventing and the rest of the history. After much testing, and initially using the 19 millimeter film feeding horizontally shooting circular images Mr. Dixon eventually settled a 35 millimeter film with a 1.3 ratio 3 cinema but also Mr. Edison whooped and in folk control of everything from there it's a bummer and people still know Dixon names today so that's a reason why and who is the first person inventing the first movie camera? 
Okay. Thomas Edison and the cinema camera. We now have to run into Thomas Edison's history. Mr. Thomas Edison received the patent for his movie camera. So, this is the point at which Mr. Thomas Edison decided to receive or decided to claim his first movie camera and now he patented it just comparing to Mr. Louis Le Prince. Louis Le Prince, he didn't patent his movie camera. The kinetograph in 19 I mean, sorry, in 1892, Edison and his team has developed the camera and its viewer in the early 1880s and signed several demonstrations. So, the kinetograph is the first cinema camera at which Mr. Thomas Edison patented it. As we heard the years 1892, 1890s and the rest, they just decided to sign several demonstrations. And now I will speak of the kinetograph. The first movie camera was called a kinetograph. So, whenever you hear this word kinetography, kinetograph, this it means that the kinetograph is the first movie camera ever in the universe. It was the first camera to take motion pictures on moving ships, on moving strips, on moving Whatever that it moves, the kinetography was able to take a picture of it. Edison kinetoscope and the kinetograph used cellular celluloid film invented the George Eastman in 1889. This was 35 millimeter film much like we use today so the kinetoscope after the kinetograph it here comes a kinetoscope by mr george eastman but now these films were not projected yet they were viewed one at a time through a in february 1893 Edison built a small movie studio that could be rotated so that to capture the best available sunlight he showed the first demonstration of his films featuring three of his workers pretending to be blacksmith in May 1893. They called it the Black Mariah for its resemblance to a police wagon. Built in the winter of 1893, just outside the main laboratory at West Orange. The tar-papered structure had been positioned atop an enormous Lazy Susan so that it could be rotated to follow the sun and outfitted with a retractable roof to maximize available light. It was from this curious building on November 1st, 1894, that the shots suddenly rang out. Inside, America's beloved sharpshooter, Annie Oakley, Little Sure Shot, was performing her act, 
firing away at tiny glass balls as Edison's latest invention captured the action in real time. The device, an electrically powered camera capable of recording motion, was the first of its kind in the United States and a mechanical monument to Edison's unparalleled gift for synthesis. The idea had come to him nearly six years before, sparked by a conversation he'd had with British photographer Edward Moybridge. Edward Moybridge, who was very well known for these animal motion studies, had developed this device it was a revolving disc with these images on it, and as it revolved with the light shining through it, it looked like motion pictures. And he gave a lecture in West Orange, which Edison attended. And afterwards, they were talking, and Edison said, you know, we ought to combine my phonograph with your machine, and we can produce talking pictures. And then Edison got to thinking a little bit more about that. He said, you know what? I can do that myself. Within months, Edison had drawn up a patent application for an optical recording device called a kinetograph, from the ancient Greek meaning writer of motion. The kinetograph, he promised, would do for the eye what the phonograph does for the ear. The kinetoscope. Now I will talk about a brief history of the kinetoscope. As we all know, from the kinetography, we are now to the kinetoscope. The kinetoscope launched the motion picture industry, but its technical limitations made it unsuitable for projection. According to the Encyclopedia Britannica, a slit opposite the picture produced the stroboscopic effect in the kinetoscope. The film traveled at a rate of 40 frames per second, and a slit in 10 inches diameter rotating shutter wheel afforded an exposure of 6,000 seconds. The illumination was provided by an electric bulb positioned directly beneath the film. The film ran over spools. Its ends were spliced together of form of continuous loop, which was initially 25 to 30 feet long, but later the length to almost 50 feet. A direct current motor powered by an Edison storage battery moved the film a uniform rate. In 1895, brothers August and Louis Lumiere patent the cinematographer, a triple threat motion picture, film camera, projector, and developer. The first successful short cinematographic presentation was established, the biggest popular breakthrough of the technology camera in 19, I mean in 1895, with the first projected movies that lasted longer than 10 seconds. Just imagine, in 1895, the longest movie were only lasting for 10 seconds. This is because of the technology. And as so far, initially, motion pictures lasted about 50 seconds, but they lack a synchronized sound and a natural color, and were mainly exhibited as novelty attractions. As we know, in 1895, the films 
lack the synchronized sound and the natural color. So this means that this it was called the silent era. So within this time, the movies had no a synchronized sound, but they only had a soundtracks. Because within this time, the film camera, they were not invented with the microphone. This is why that they had no synchronized sound. So it means that this time, there were no dialogue. There were only actions. This, it was known as the silent era. And also, within 1895, the films had no natural color. It means that the film were played in black and white form because of the technology, no color, no natural color. So this is why we have a revolution of the camera film. As we go on, in the 1912, Bell and Powell introduces the first all metal movie camera the 2709 standard 35 millimeter after mill deal and terminates destroyed the wood and leather camera of husband and wife filmmakers martin and also johnson as they travel through africa so within this year it means that the previous years, the 19, I mean the 1895 and the previous years, they lacked the, they lacked the metal camera. But all camera were in wood form. So, Bell and Hall, they were the first people to invent the metal camera and the leather camera. Okay. As we go on, furthermore, to the 1927, here comes a man known as Philo Fansworth. Philo Fansworth's video camera tube converts images into electrical signals. These later begins the boob tube and we don't mean cinemas. This is the year 1927. During the 20th century, movies grew much longer and the medium quickly developed into one of the most important tools of communication and entertainment. The breakthrough of synchronized sound occurred at the end of the 1920s and that of full color motion picture filmed in 1930. Although black and white films remained very common for several decades. So as we see, as we heard, as we hear, the 1920s is the year where that synchronization of sound became very important to the film technology and this year 1927 to the 20th centuries we heard that the films became very very important when it comes to an issue of entertainment and education. And when it reached 1930s, we now had the invasion of full color, natural color at our films. So this year we had a huge development in the film cameras.
1932. Here now comes a man known as Eastman Kodak. Eastman Kodak's new 8mm film upstages a 16mm and becomes a standard for home movies. Now, as we know, Eastman Kodak is the first person to upgrade or to upstage a lens from a, from a cinema camera. Mr. Eastman comes up with 8mm film which upstages a 16mm as we know an 8mm is such a small thing compared to a 16mm it's almost two times two times two times larger or two times smaller so this becomes portable and standard for home films or movies and now we are at 1934 us we've heard before two people mr bill and hoyle these are the people who created the first lightweight movie camera for amateur filmmakers so according to this sentence we can understand now mr bill and hoyle they're the first people to create a lightweight camera. So according to this sentence we can we can we can we can we can understand that the previous cameras they weren't lightweight but they were heavyweight and heavy duty so they were hard to afford and the capabilities wasn't easy but now when it reached the year 1934 Mr. Bill and Howell just creates their own lightweight camera. In 2001, once upon a time in Mexico, is the first mainstream movie filmed in 24 frames per second, a high definition digital video. This is the huge development and discovery of a movie camera. 2001 we had the first mainstream movie. But as further as we go, we can see that when it reached 2007, the red one, the first 4K resolution digital camera, revolutionizes digital film making so we can see the first digital 4k camera this is the red one which was invented at the year 2007 it was a huge revolution to the filmmaking and to the filmmakers when it reached 2009 Factoids for who wants to be a millionaire. Appearance Lambdog Millionaire is the first film shot mostly in digital to win the Academy Awards for the best cinema. Oh, Time pass bandkar, 
अमिताभ का हेलीकॉप्टर अमिताभ का हेलीकॉप्टर But now we have 2012, 2012. Mr. Felix Baumgartner straps on five GoPro video cameras before his historic 24 mile skydive. YouTube says its live stream record as more than 8 million tune in. And this is the end of a brief history of the revolution of the movie or cinema cameras. As we see, as we heard from the past till now, we have a large revolution and it's a huge discovery in the filmmaking. Thank you. It's me, Abdul Malik Bilal. Thank you. This is the Robux Story.